Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Or actually, no, it's not even morning. I don't know. It's it's 12.51. I haven't been out of the house today, so it feels like morning. Anyways, welcome to Apple. Apple gapped up today and had a beautiful bullish gap. You could have aggressively gone long Apple this morning. And so today was a day trade I called an Apple and an option trade in Apple. And here we have the Apple. So let's take a look at it. Actually, let's just look at the day trade here. So you could have gone long Apple very early, okay, which I didn't even do anything with this this morning, didn't call it whatever, but then it did set up. Here, let me just go back, although this thought's too small. So anyways, this did set up right in here with a really nice entry and actually gave it quite a wide stop all the way down to originally 158.75, then said, Everybody could put it at 158.70, which has held. I also, then it, it went up, made a new high, okay? Really target, I feel, is 164 today. It's gonna try to get there. Over the high is 66, so that's realistic. I did tell people after close at the room, if you wanna add to the trade, you could add to the trade and make more out of it. You could add on the 15 minute here. You could have added on the 15 minute here. You could have added both places. You could have added on the five. It's held every stop. Apple's very strong today. No matter what the market does, I felt like this would hold today, be very strong. And what was the reason? Well, there were lots of reasons. But going back to the original, original break that this chart had, which was actually, it was just about a month ago. 920, the stock gap down here and fell. And I, that didn't make any sense to me why it fell, but there was a news related thing and I'm certain that people shorted the stock because it had a short term follow through. But the stock really, as you can see, was still in an uptrend and I would never tell anyone to short this stock. It's extremely strong, it's, it, it, it's being bought. It had that dip down, it really didn't go anywhere. It was a baby dip. The stock reversed itself in here when it failed to go lower. Did it again here, gapped up, had the confirmation, followed through higher in here, and again gapped up today. This is a really, really, really nice gap today. You could be long the stock today, and like I said, I called an option in it. You could be day trading it. Look for the follow through in Apple. They pushed the earnings back to until November 2nd now, but this could react with the market and also Google and Amazon, which are next week. She'll so be watching Apple, you know, the next number, like I said, is 160. If it gets over the high today, it's a nice trade. It's a nice trade. You could have been tighter with the stop for the day trade, but you know, longs, you gotta give a little bit more room than shorts. And let's just quickly, quickly, quickly take a look here at the market as Apple continues high up. Uh, the market's just holding, holding strong and nobody should expect this market to come in anytime soon because it's just not doing it. It's just not doing it. Where did the spy go? 82. Let's look at this. And this is holding. So everything's holding. And Apple looks great. So for anyone that's still in the Apple long, whether you're in the option, whether you're in the day trade, it looks really good. Again, one o'clock in the afternoon. Rare to be in an afternoon trade, but you know what? The 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 longs, okay, which it's rare that I would even look at a bullish gap, but there was not a lot to the downside today. But bullish gaps, long trades, you do have to give some time. You, you've got to give them a little bit more time. Uh, you know, it's one of the reasons that I, I prefer to be watching the shorts. Uh, but, you know, longs work. You can make money going long as well as you can going short. So good luck, everyone that's in the Apple. We'll see where it goes for the rest of the week. Again, it was really never a short, and this is why people, you know, sometimes get upset because they see something like this, think the stock's going to collapse, and it really, really was always a nice buy. So we'll see where we go from here. Golden Gap course is this weekend, 21st and 22nd, and I'll do a review of Apple maybe tonight or tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.